Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and I'm back with another vlog. We got another cow. Well, actually she's a calf right now, but she is hopefully going to be our next milk cow as long as her test results come back A2A2. We got her from one of the local organic dairies. She is like a month and a half old. She is like the sweetest little thing ever. I love her so much already. I'm like getting way too attached, especially for us not knowing for sure if we're keeping her for ourselves yet. So A2, A2 status is pretty important to me at least. We've got some family members who can't really digest milk that's not A2, A2. And that used to be that all cows were A2 until we started kind of messing with genetics and modifying things and messing stuff up. So it's really important to me to have a herd that's all A2A2 and to really work on breeding in those genetics. So this is Eleanor. She's a sweetie. And here's Wilbur. Eleanor. Oh, she really likes having her chin scratched. Yeah, she's, she's a good girl. Why is he so short? Yeah, it looks like he's trying to like fall over. doing? <laughs> He's wrestling it. He's trying to scratch his head. There's Charlotte right there sleeping by the fence. She has a big boat. She's used to blue cow. Mm -hmm. Hi. Baby. Look at your little baby teeth. Oh, he's so sweet. Chickens are checking it out.
course, test results finally came back. I felt like forever that we waited, and I was just trying not to get detached to her during that time, but the test results came back, and she is A2A2, and she's got the really good genetic markers for cream production and cheese making. A little bit lower on like milk production overall, but it's going to be more creamy milk, and it's going to make better cheese, which is what I was hoping. So, actually, she's perfect genetically for what we wanted, so we are keeping her. She's going to be a permanent member of the homestead, and I'm so excited because she is just so sweet. I'm, I'm really happy about it. She's gotten so dark colored, though. She's going to be probably the same color as Charlotte. She's gotten all um, like striped, and then now she's like really filled in with that really dark brown color, but then she'll still have her white spots, so she's really cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing the new calf and seeing cider pressing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.